inventory has slowed down a little bit. It has. I'm, you know, it normally does this time of year. I'm, I'm wondering if we're beginning to see the, you know, the, the, the slowing of the market from all the appreciation over the last several years or if it's just, you know, the seasonal thing we do. It is a seasonal thing, and I think maybe it's probably a little more exaggerated because we already are in a little bit of a deficiency. And so every little tick down kind of feels a little more exaggerated. We did see an uptick from last week to this week in new home listings up about 100, 150 um, back on the market. That's always interesting to me in this market. Uh, and here we're a little bit less than 600. Mm -hmm. uh, price decreases. We had a, a, about 1,450 price decreases in the last week, uh, 308 that had a price increase. There were about the same number of 2,167 that went under contract into the option period. And then uh, a few or more that came out of the uh, option period into uh, that little, uh, I don't know, contingent contract yeah. status. And then a few more or a few less last week that went pending. Uh, the sale number, the sold number went down uh, quite significantly. But again, that is reflective of many people close their transactions at the uh, at the end of the uh, the calendar month. Right. And then coming soon, uh, a few less of those with 382. So overall, there's not a big shift in what happened last week versus this week. Um, and overall, I can say if we look back over the last two or three months that we've been doing this market snapshot, it really hasn't changed. Kind of steady as she goes. But we are seeing that it's just a little tighter mm -hmm. right now. One of the things that we've seen is some clients, as they can't find what they're looking forward to purchase, have been moving into the rental market. And that doesn't even seem to be just with our clients, but it seems to be pretty much something that we're seeing across the board. And right now that has made the uh, leasing market also tighten up. It really has. It, we've got several people that are um, selling their homes and moving into a, a lease property for a variety of reasons and finding finding leases that match their needs. And they're not unrealistic in what they're expecting. It's just finding it right now is a little tough. And, and I would say that it would be one thing if we were only focusing on an uptown market, or if we were only looking at a specific condo, but we have them that are actually going pretty much across the um, MLS mm -hmm. right now. And uh, everything seems to tick out. If you think that you can wait much more than 48 hours sometimes to get an app in, it's, it can get a little tight. It does. It does. So, well, great start off for the week. We are excited about it. This weekend, it looks like it's going to be um, busy as well now that Jeff's back. So maybe I'll take him. Yeah. And we're only like 40 days, 42 days away from the State Fair of Texas starting. It will be interesting to see how that plays itself out. Won't it, it? it really will. We yeah. will be on bated breath to see how <laughs> right. all of this happens. <laughs> Thank God most of it's outside. Mm. Yes.